Here is a simple walkthrough from a storyboard to an animated banner using HTML5. To begin with, start with really simple HTML. You don't need IDs or classes. Now begin the CSS by loading your Google fonts, include our generic reset to zero out margin and padding, and treat the figure element as the page setup. Then tackle the typography. For example, the headlines benefit from smaller letter spacing, larger font size, and background colors. The owner to list uh, can benefit from word spacing and a drop shadow. And the anchor link can look like a button, applying borders and background colors, really squaring it up. With the CSS design in place, now is the time to tackle the layout. Again, the key here is the parent-child relationships. Figures should be set to relative, all the children then absolutely position. At that point, layout's easy. Just position each element from the top left. It can look a little jumbled, but this layered treatment is perfect for animating with JavaScript. Now, caution when it comes to animation. It's good to set the auto update preview off so that it'll only run the animation when you click the run button. And of course, we'll need to link to the external GreenSock library or the GSAP platform. TweenMax from is the command that powers our animation. It allows us to animate each element from a position off the screen and get it to land here in its final spot. Now, you may want to turn overflow hidden on the parent element to disguise things that are off screen as they come in. Again, the trick here is just manipulating the properties. Uh, add a delay so that there's a pause before the line animates. And basically the same pattern will build up for each individual element. The great thing about Twain Max's syntax is it can work on more than one item, in this case making both headlines fade out together. It can also animate CSS properties, in this case adjusting the background position of that larger photo we have in the figure element. And there's variants on the commands like stagger from, which gets an extra property at the end, an offset, so that each line of the list comes in one at a time. There's a lot of nuance to TweenMax, and that's what we'll be exploring in the next few classes.